Hello everybody, welcome to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. I tell you, tonight we've got one of our very favorite shows that we do every year. Tonight we have got the juvenile, the youth hunt coming up this weekend. And we've got with us tonight three youth hunters. They're going to be out this weekend um, and, and they're going to be after them. We're looking forward to talking to them tonight and, and just kind of hearing their stories and what got them started and how they, how they got into to doing this and just how much they're looking forward to this weekend. I've uh, got Anthony Landreth here with me tonight, and uh, he's going to be helping me talk to these guys. And I'm one uh, of the three. With, I'm yeah, one he's of the one three. of my three kids <laughs> that's going to be with us this weekend. No, but over here, just beside Anthony, we've got Parker Van Trees, and uh, Parker has been uh, been hunting for I know at least quite a good while. I've been following Eight you years. and seeing your pictures yep. and uh, hunting, fishing both. You spend a lot of time uh, fishing as well. And then just off beside Parker here, we've got Deacon Blair. And uh, a lot of you guys uh, know who his daddy is, Dayton Blair, but you've also seen Deacon on here before. And uh, Deacon's going to be after him this weekend too. And uh, so we're just going to kind of chit chat with these guys and, and learn a little bit about um, kind of how this all looks through their eyes. You know, we, we're all the time saying, you know, this is what we do and how we do it and where we're going, this, that, and the other. And it's really neat to just sit back and just and kind of see how these guys see it. I remember to this day, Anthony, I can remember the first deer hunt I ever went on, I could sit here and write on a piece of paper every detail of it for you. I could probably write a, every detail of every hunt I've yeah. been on. So, and, and I had to say one thing, and, and I know you and I, Mike, we've talked about it. I'm more excited this year about this hunt this weekend than I would be if it was opening day for me. That's right. I mean, it's just the preparation and yeah. the excitement. Well, plus, well, I mean, Southern Woods and Water is going to have four camera crews out well, with, with, with use. And I mean, what an opportunity! I mean, not only to be out there during this hunt, yeah. but just to get maybe get it on camera. It's going to I mean, be a big time. Yes, it is. It is, Parker. Now, so eight years. You said eight you've been years. hunting now. How many deer have you gotten so far? You think you seven, know? as far as I can count. Seven. So you pretty much you you're batting pretty good to get one better every year, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. So uh, you got one tied down for this weekend? Mm, doe. Uh, maybe not a doe. Really That's what I asked him while ago. I said, you got your big monster tied out? And he said, not yet, but I'm hoping one's going to come out. <laughs> yeah. If you got you a good, some does found, you got you some bucks found. They're yeah. there somewhere. Yes, They're in there right. somewhere. You going to hold out for one, or are you going to go ahead and take you a slick I'm a taking me a head? doe this weekend. First yeah. one walks out. Yeah. Take you a doe. Hey, and just don't keep you. sitting, man. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. there have been many times I've shot a deer, you know, after I've shot a doe or Shot a buck, shot a doe later, vice versa. Yes. Your hunt definitely ain't over. That was yeah. one of the tips a couple of weeks ago. You know, once you shoot, if you shoot a coyote or a deer, just stay in that stand because it's no telling what's going to walk out there. No. You yeah. get out, you ruin it. That's, that's right. That's right. Once you get out, you're basically, your hunt's over. It sure is. It is. If you just sit there, they don't pay near much attention nope. to that shot as no, you No, because, think I, you know, I've been out in the field, Brandon, and you hear a shot like on a neighboring farm. You know, a lot of times the deer don't even look up if yeah. they're eating, you know. That's right. And, then, and those that do might just look around. As long as that shot don't hit anywhere around them, they really don't have a clue. That's right. I think they react to the sound of the bullet going by more than they do. Uh, the I do too. If you get that you know, bullet close I mean, enough. I've seen people miss deer, you know, and then kill them the second shot. Yeah. I mean, I've done that I've myself done before. You know, know, you know if yeah. anybody said they hadn't missed, I don't think they've ever hunted. Yeah, that's right. You know. Deacon, I'm going to make you talk now, buddy. Right. Uh, I tell you, man, it, I've watched Deacon grow up. I've seen seen this little man right here grow up since he was a baby. And uh, I know that you have hunted and fished your entire life. That's yes, the, You're kind of like me. That's about all you've ever known. And uh, about how long you've been deer hunting now? A few years, hadn't you? About six, seven. Six, seven years. He wouldn't have to go far to kill a moose. No, they don't have to you. go far to get no. after the deer. He, <laughs> I've done seen them there. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. You looking forward to Saturday? Yes, sir. You got you a good dry place to sit? Yes, sir. That's what, good. You got you a shooting house or a, a blind, pop-up blind or what? My bedroom window. Your bedroom, Your bedroom window. window. See, what did well, I tell you? I knew that, it was right that'd there be close a, by. That'd be yeah. a pretty good dry spot if it's raining hard. I tell you what, that's almost cheating right there. Yeah. You, know, to. you don't have to get up early or... Yeah, that's almost like you know I take somebody hunt with me sometime and they'll sit over and fall asleep and I've literally had to wake them up to get them to shoot the deer. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you this: his daddy gonna have him out there in some kind of stand. <laughs> I, I, I bet he will be. Yeah. But uh, well, what what kind of rifle you hunt with, Deacon? A two sixty. Two sixty. Two sixty. Is it a bolt action? Yes, sir. Rifle. Yes, sir. All right. You pretty proficient with it. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Get out and practice with it. Been shooting a little bit. Yes, sir. Parker, you been out shooting? Yes. What do you hunt with? 270. 270. That's a fine round. Mm -hmm. Been a lot of deer smacked down yeah. with 270. There ain't many yeah. things flatter than a 270. Bolt action. Bolt action. Well, that's good, guys. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. This weekend, it's going to be raining, guys. It's going to be wet. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of rain. It's right going to be a lot of rain coming, and, and we're going to have to kind of sit and uh, you know kind of take cover you know and and stay dry but the old dish are gonna move ain't they oh yeah they're gonna and, move and one thing you know if if it's raining hard and it may stop for only 20 minutes you'll be surprised them deer they'll get up out of them beds they'll come eat for 15 or 20 mm -hmm. minutes too and they you, will you got to be there well, no, be Parker, ready. you've done killed one in the rain right oh yeah one of your better Soaking bucks rain. in the in the pouring, pouring rain down yeah and uh Did he come out chasing does or just come out he just came out by itself? from the cedar thicket really yep they'll do it they, they will. will do it oh me i tell you the excitement man i can just I, just talking to these guys i can I, just I think back it's you know and like, remember you know, you know what what it's like um what what kind of guy i'll right, we'll start with deacon what i know how you got into the outdoors you've done it again you know your whole life but what keeps you always wanting to go back? I mean, why? Are, what's you most excited about for this weekend or just in general? I'm excited to get out in the outdoors and just spend time out there. Just hang out, be with your dad, and yes, sir. tromp around through the woods. Did Dayton yeah. tell you to say that? That's your decision. Yeah, that sounds like a scripted it's almost answer. Like you scripted that. I don't know. I don't <laughs> no, know about I'm just, that. I'm just teasing. No, I but, no, but that, that's all of our goals too. Just being mm -hmm. out there, we love it. That's what it's about. Yeah, sure that is. is. And Parker, how, how, how did you kind of how did you get in? Was that your papa or? Yeah, my papa Eugene Holman. Yeah. He got me out at a young age. Yeah. Even before I could shoot. <laughs> and you yeah. just got addicted to it. Yep. You? And you it it's almost like well, if you start early like that, you, you, you never you never stop. You almost, you know, and you that's just like mine. It. She'll be up here in the one. You, you never know nothing else. You know, mm -hmm. it's just pretty much what you know. And and uh, it's almost like you live the whole year for deer season. Yeah. I we, know we do. Of course, we get turkey in there, and then I get crappie <laughs> fishing in there. That's what helps <laughs> gets me through. Kind Squirrel of pushes season. you through. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that time, guys. It's that time of year. This these next few weeks is going to be hitting it on the head you know as far as this is what deer hunters this is what we wait on you yep. all year long mm -hmm. we're waiting for these next couple of weeks yes. and the juvenile hunt hits it right just right there in that early you know pre-rut they're chasing around yeah yeah and uh it a ought lot to be of them chasing around right now, that's it for is. sure. Mm -hmm. And then some of them even fighting, too. I filmed a good fight the other day. Yeah. You know, it was just small bucks. They was really fighting. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I tell you, we're going to take a go over here and do this week's weekly wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our good friends at Wilson Bank & Trust. Had a great time out there this weekend at Oktoberfest. Big turnout. Kids had a blast. They had all kind of inflatables, a car show. Thank them again for that. And uh, you know, I'll tell you what, they'll have Winterfest coming up. They've got so many different things. Be sure to stop in one of their Middle Tennessee branches and tell them thank you for all they do for us here at the show. You know, we, we've already kind of been getting into the, the forecast for the deer. I mean, yes. the deer are starting to act like deer. You know, yes. they're, they're, they're they pushing sure does around. Well, we're on the way here tonight. Well, I bet we saw close to 20 deer off the side of the I down I-40. If you guys are traveling 40 tonight, look out, because they are standing I know. all we'll, up and we'll down. We'll be going back home tonight, so I know <laughs> there's probably a bunch of them. They are all up and down the side of the 40. But I tell you, been getting some, some good fishing reports, too. Um, had some lakes. I've, Priest, Old Hickory, both been a little bit slower the last little while, but got a great report out of Pickwick this past week. Yes. Rusty Russ was down there smallmouth fishing. They had 27 keepers in one day. And uh, you know they're they're cranking for those fish right now, and they are really catching them. So I know we uh, uh, Chase Milholland and, and Jackson Sullivan, they fished a tournament the other day, five fish, all them smallmouth, and there's I think about a little over six, just a tad under sixteen. They got yeah. second place out of ninety boats. Yeah, the smallmouth are really turning on. They're starting to starting to do their thing again. And uh, you know, again on on here more local around us, Old Hickory and Priest, it'll start picking up here shortly, I believe. Yeah. Um, got some guys that have been fishing it a lot. It's just been kind of slow, but you know, Center Hill got some great reports out of Center Hill. Same thing, smallmouth, smallmouth, smallmouth. Yep. So, guys, it's a great time to be after those brown fish if you're not going to be chasing deer with a kid this weekend. You know, and, and crappies are fixing to start back up it too. Is. That's your time of year, yeah, ain't you got that right. You know, that's one thing about when the crappie, <laughs> the crappie man in the Hatchie River when the leaves start falling, you can smoke them crappie. But you know, deer season comes in and it's like, man, I'll go deer hunting early in the morning, 
And then the whole time I'm sitting there deer hunting, I'm thinking about snatching some slabs out of them leaf piles in the river. <laughs> man, it's hard passing slabs it, up. It, it is. It oh, sure is. Man. Guys, we want to remind you to come over and follow us on Facebook. Keep up with us there. We're going to be going this weekend, hopefully going live several times throughout the weekend. But we're going to let you guys follow along with us as we take these kids out. Like Anthony mentioned earlier, we're going to have four different youth out this weekend hunting with us, filming them. And it, I am really looking forward to it. It's hey, going to be a I, great time. I'm telling you, we, so, Mike and I talked about it, and JR on the way up here. I mean, man, I, I just can't wait to say it's morning. going to be a big time. I don't care if it's raining. we got a good deer house to get It'll in. It'll be okay. Won't good, nice, you might get a little <laughs> wet getting there, but once you get there, you know. It'll be all right. Yes. Guys, don't, just try to follow us there. Keep up with us. We're actually going to be doing some more giveaways here soon. And uh, we're looking forward to doing that as well. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have this week's pictures of the week and some more Southern Woods and Washington.